So the first DLC pack for Breath of the Wild's out. I'm still yet to try my luck at hard mode, but I've spent some time going around and collecting the new equipment, most of which is found by following instructions in Misko's journal, found in the outpost ruins. Yeah, Misko, the great bandit whose treasure we could steal in one of the game's side quests, which is a cool little touch. His journal leads us to find Tingle's armor set, Majora's mask, Midna's helmet, and the Phantom armor set, and each one is given a small description by the book, such as the ancient mask, the green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy, armor worn by fierce phantoms, but most interestingly, the princess of twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the hero of twilight, her helmet can be found at the temple ruins soaked in the waters of Regencia River. The description for Midna's helmet is so different from the description for the others, because it actually references Midna as a character from history, as well as the hero of twilight. I'm not sure if the actual fused shadow piece as a helmet can be considered canon in Breath of the Wild, such as I don't think the Phantom Armor set or the Tunic of Time or Tingle's outfit are technically canon, but if you compare this artifact from the Child Timeline's description to an artifact from the Adult Timeline's description, like say the Phantom Armor, Midna's helmet clearly stands out as an item that has a solid and well-known backstory in the game's lore. I think for me, this is the last bit of evidence I needed to fully place the game here in the Child Timeline. In conjunction with areas like the Great Bridge of Hylia, we've obviously already got some solid evidence for this placement, such as Zelda's description of the Master Sword being bound to the hero when Skyward Bound, so Skyward Sword, adrift in time, so Ocarina of Time, and steeped in the glowing embers of Twilight, so Twilight Princess. And of course, it has to be at the end of whatever timeline is in, due to the huge 10,000 year jump described in the game's backstory, as well as the game's director mentioning that it's far at the end of the current timeline in the newest age. But now we've got yet more evidence that stories from the child timeline are passed down in Breath of the Wild's Hyrule, whereas descriptions for the adult timeline items like the Phantom Armor set are far more plain, and there's no descriptions of stories passed down from those timelines. It just seems unnecessarily specific to mention the hero of Twilight and Midna as having existed prior to Breath, while the other items don't mention anything specific, and are likely just fan service. What do you guys think of the description for Midna's helmet? Could it be the final piece of evidence for a child timeline placement? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.